than what he's about to face. More than just the harsh confines of war games on his mind. This superstar appears surprisingly calm, particularly when you know that in a matter of minutes, he'll be outnumbered. And also, who knows what the next member of the opposing team will bring into this ring. He needs to be able to use every inch of both rings, keep the distance, negate the numbers advantage, but we all know that's easier said than done. A competitor who does not know the meaning of the word quit. He is ready for battle.
Hey guys, do you realize that we're mere moments away from waging war? Guys, a tough spot to be in starting war games, but soon we'll have the numbers on his side. You're right, Cole. It's up to him to utilize the advantage, direct his team, and be ruthless. Yeah, but it's really critical. He needs to stay alert and stay active. And if he gets injured or knocked down, the numbers advantage is meaningless. War Games, famously the brainchild of the great Dusty Rhodes. You have to wonder if these superstars are looking to honor his legacy in this match. If you mean his legacy of punishment, then absolutely. Look, Dusty was no stranger to finding innovative ways to destroy his opponent, and he really broke the mold with this idea. I fully expect these superstars to push past every limit they have. Anything less is misunderstanding the assignment. Only seconds away from giving their team the numbers advantage. And set right into the corner. Out of the small holding cage to only make way toward the beaches of Normandy. Not the position you want to be in right now. Oh, Ram face first. Surging under the ring now. This can't be good. And now having to deal with that weapon is like going up against two competitors at once. Into the cage now, and the numbers advantage is locked in. Counting down the seconds as this match gets closer to being even. Sending him all the way over to the next ring. Out of the cage and rushing in to erase the numbers advantage. Not wasting any time getting through the door, and the teams are evened up. Set up for the full one impact. The count has started, and one team is about to have the odds in their favor. Oh, I caught him. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What a headbutt. Pedigree. That puts him in total control. Gentlemen, the advantage has officially shifted. In a team environment like this, you really have to be on the same page, don't you, Corey? You need more than that, Cole. Walking into war games, you have to assume that your opponents have a better game plan than you. Staying one step ahead and trying to predict what they'll do should help you break it. Oh, knee drop. Woo. I don't like it, but in war games, a one-sided ball is all perfectly legal. Here comes the buzzer, the number oh, four on the Kamura. Kamura lock applied. Will they tap? He is doing whatever he can to fake the Kamura, and he does. Knee strike connects. And now they are part of the war, ready to fight for their platoon. Down next entry will tip the scales in their team's favor. Punch right in the head. Overhand connects. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. And for the team on the wrong side of this entry, things have gotten that much more grueling. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Boom! 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 Dodge. Oh, uh, he could be looking for a submission here. He's made sure the odds are above and beyond. Abdominal stretch. Fighting out of it. That's the way to get out of it. One wicked attack after another. Right hook. Oh, that's a hard kick. Big time close line. Good grief. And now officially in the fray. The case be coming in and have more friends and foes in the cage. Climbing up the wall now. And he's got some crazy idea in mind from the looks of this. Another warrior about to enter the fray. Here to balance the scales. Toot slam! No way! Ah, for the love of God! Did you see that? I think we all did. A lunatic jumping. No, I'm not kidding. I can't walk. You're insane! You're insane! Punishing impact off the cage. Both of these superstars pushing the limits of what their bodies can take. Ranked around into a neck breaker. War Games has officially begun as the last combatant in assesses the situation. Entering one of the most dangerous matches in WWE history has to be unnerving. Just one right after the other can't be stopped. Going up the cage now must have some sort
sort of scrap. No, 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 no! Hit again! Oh, went airborne from up high! I can't believe the decision to jump off of the top of the cage! I think that was decided before every reach in the top, Saxton. Well, these debilitating forearm strikes! Counter! And... Here it comes! Stay away from the worm. And that was an effective attack, guys. And Eat, how in the world do you get out of this? I guess just like that, he went right into that turnbuckle. And that was an expertly executed DDT. Enough already. These guys getting after it. Another spectacular War Games match ending in a big victory for this team. They won't leave this match the same people they went in as, but they will leave victorious. And depending on who you ask, that is all that matters. Yeah.